Hello and welcome to this After Effects Certification Preparation series of videos. I'm Luisa Winters. In this video, I'd like to talk about Objective 3.2b, which is to create, apply, and manipulate masks and track mats, and we're going to talk about tools for creating masks. So in the last video, we created a couple of masks and we interpolated them, but we didn't really talk about the tools. Let's go into After Effects and start creating masks. In After Effects, create a new composition. Control N, Command N if you're on the Mac, and just call it Masks. Now let's create a solid. Control Y, which is Command Y if you are on a Mac. And I'm going to make it, uh, I don't know, pink. Why not? And here we go. These are the tools for making masks. We already know about the rectangle tool. If, like any other program, right, if you press and hold shift, you constrain the proportions so that is a perfect square. All right? If you start drawing and then you press and hold, well, start drawing, but don't release the mouse button, right? Leave the mouse button down. You can now press and hold the space bar and you can move the mask around to whatever you want, right? You can also press the shift key, see it? Or not. All right, so the trick with masks is usually, when you're using these tools, is usually don't release the mouse button until you're happy with the mask. So I'm going to undo that. Let's go to the next one, which is the rounded rectangle tool, right? See it? While the mouse button is down, you can use the left and the right arrows. And, you know, you can make this more roundy like that or less roundy like yay. All right? Again, the trick is don't release the mouse button until you're happy. Now, if you go to the ellipse tool, same thing, press and hold shift, and this is a perfect circle. The interesting ones are the polygon tool, click and drag, and this is a pentagon, right? Oh no, I need it to be a hexagon, up arrow, up arrow, all right? Oh no, I need it to be a triangle, down arrow, down arrow. All right. Oh, I need it to be curvier. See it? Look at that. Right arrow. Boy, that looks like the acrobat symbol, huh? Does it? Right arrow. Right arrow. Shift. Shift. So it it's it doesn't rotate around like yay. Shift. See it? Left arrow. My mouse button is still down. All right? And now it curves in the other way, <laughs> which is kind of cool. I like this. Right? So anyway, now if you use this again, it's going to give you that. And yes, you can have more. Look at that. Hmm? That's kind of cool, right? That's just the up arrow, right? Down arrow, up arrow mouse button down, right? But if you want to go back to your pentagon, whatever you had, well, you know, you can always double click the tool. Done. You just reset it. Just double click it. That's it. Right? So I'm going to undo that. And now let's go to the star. Same thing. Oh, I want less rays. Down arrow. Oh, I want more rays. Up arrow. I want it. Uh, I want the rays to be pointier. Control, Command on the Mac, and just drag it out. See it? Again, my mouse button is still down. Right arrow, left arrow. All right, so just keep those things in mind. Oh, it looks like a flower. I don't want it to look like a flower. I want it to look like a star. Double-click the tool. Boom. Done. Just like that. So that's one of the ways that you have of making masks but we also have the pen tool. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this mask and um, I'm going to create a new solid because I am not liking that color now. So I want a different color. I'm going to go to a, 
this blue. Why not? Now, one of the things that you really need to do is if you can use the pen tool already, that's fantastic. If you are not a pen tool user, stop it and start using it. I mean it. I mean it. Just no excuses. Learn how to use it, become comfortable with it. It doesn't matter because eventually that tool is going to become one of the most important tools that you have in After Effects. And there's a myriad of reasons for that. And I'm not going to get into that right now, but just for right now, trust me, just trust me, learn the pen tool. So this is how the pen tool works. It works not by drawing lines, but by having points, which in After Effects are called vertex points, and handles. These handles modify the curves of the lines that connect the points. So if you're using the pen tool and you click, 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 you get straight lines. That's called linear, straight lines, linear. I'm going to undo that. But if you click and then click and drag, you're dragging handles out of that vertex point, and those handles control the curvature. So click and drag, click, click and drag, click, click and drag, click. All right? You can do this exercise. Click, click and drag to the right, click. Click and drag to the right, click. Click and drag to the right, click. Then undo. Do, 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 do. Click, click and drag to the left. Click, click and drag to the left. Click, click and drag to the left. See how the curves are going differently, right? Undo. You can keep on going. Click, click and drag down. Click, click and drag down. Click, click and drag down. Boom, 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 boom. And you can even then start combining. So click and drag down, click and drag up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And you start creating shapes like that. All right, so after you're comfortable with this, I'm just gonna have one curve like the end. You can start controlling the handles even after you draw the mask. And right now, these handles are connected. See, when I move this one up, the other one goes down and vice versa. That's called continuous Bezier. So linear straight line curve Bezier. And this is continuous because the handles are connected. If I use this tool, which is the convert vertex tool, I can break the connection in between the handles. And now I have plain vanilla Bezier where the handles are not connected. They're independent from each other. All right, so uh, there are shortcuts for this. Control and Alt option command. It's a convert, it's a shortcut for the convert vertex tool. So if I have my selection tool uh, selected, active, right? I can have these be continuous or non-continuous, linear, back to Bezier. All right, so the shortcut is Control-Alt, which is Command Option on the Mac. But it's the same as grabbing this, the Convert Vertex tool. You can add points. You can delete points. you can also have a mask feather. So uh, let me just give you a closed uh, path. In other words, a mask that produces transparency. So I'll do it with a rectangle so we see it much better. And uh, in fact, let me change the color of the solid, maybe to a bright yellow, so you can see it a little bit better. And by the way, uh, that's layer solid settings and then change it however you want. And now in here, I'm gonna go to the mask feather tool and I can simply click and drag and I can have different feathers 
in different parts. So the feather doesn't have to be even throughout. See what I mean? Much more on one side or much less on the other side. Of course, if you want them even, then you can go to the mask feather here in the timeline and just feather it. Its shortcut is the letter F, F for feather. So you can do a ton of things uh, with these uh, uh, tools, uh, especially with the pen tool. I cannot stress this enough, folks. Learn the tool, love the tool. I get it. I get it. I've been teaching After Effects for over 20 years. Long time. Learn the pen tool, all right? Learn the pen tool. Yeah, over 20 years. I, I think I started in, in 2002. Neither here nor there. Anyway, learn the pen tool. Okay, this brings me to the end of this video and in fact brings me to the end of Objective 3. So thank you for watching and I'll see you on Objective 4.